and <laughs> Fading Chigolo, you wrote it, directed, you played in it. How does one get an idea for a script like something like that? It's fantastic, uh, by the way. Oh, thanks. I have a strong dream life. No, <laughs> <laughs> I do. Sometimes I project like, oh, what would happen if this if this person was with me or whatever? Sometimes I don't think of myself in 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 a, in a film idea, but in this case, I thought Woody and I together could be an interesting duo team because we have things in common, but we're very much we also have a lot of differences between us. He's a little older. I'm a little taller. I'm a little younger. So I thought it would almost be like a father and son like relationship, and. You know, people have to reinvent themselves. In the movie, we see he said women are paying for sex. Do you think part of our revolution now, um, it's okay for women to do that? Or is it okay for women to sure, do that? Sure, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay for men. It's, it's okay for women too. I hope or I think I would never need, uh, need to pay <laughs> for <laughs> sex. But uh, but I don't want to judge anyone. I think, you know, everyone should try to be happy, to make themselves happy because, you know, life is too short. And if that's what you need at the moment and you can afford it, go ahead and do it. Um, do you think, though, um, you know, sex without love, does it fulfill us? Can it make us happy? Oh, my God, yes, it can. I think it's part of human life. And sometimes people can be lonely even within a relationship. Sometimes they go outside of it. So the need for human contact, and not just purely physical contact, uh, emotional contact too, never ceases to exist. Um, we women, we all have it, like specifically when we grow up, you know, we have little insecurities where we think like we want longer hair, longer legs, like, you know, whatever. Is there something, I mean, you're beautiful, you're perfect, but Thank you know, you. Was, there, was, was there something you ever like wanted, you know, you didn't have? Oh, when I when I was a teenager, yeah, you 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 know you always you always want something different than what you have, and then you know, growing older, you finally start to accept, so you can live your life better. I'm like complaining. It's complaining like about we, what? About everything. We are like that. We can't help it. If, if it's curly, we want it straight. If it's blonde, I'm tired. I want it dark. You know, it's like it's it's you know, I'm like everybody. You you you're just learn to be you and to, uh, you know, just let happiness shine. That's the most important, I think.